This is how to access your Google Classroom and your Google Classroom assignments, and one way that you can submit them. You'll start each day on the Google Home page. Navigate up to the right-hand corner and click on the Apps. Select Classroom. Once you're in your Google Classrooms, you'll see either Mrs. Echeverria's class or Mrs. Severance's class. Click on your second grade teacher's name up at the top. This will take you directly to the stream page. This is the front page in the Google Classroom where you might see announcements or videos here for you to watch. To get to your classwork and your schedule for the day, go to the top and click on classwork. Your week schedule will always be at the top. So here we have first week, September 14th through 18th. On Monday the 14th, you'll see this at the top here. And the first thing you'll see is the day that we're on, we'll see that day's class schedule will be the first assignment or first piece of material. You'll always wanna open up the class schedule in the morning. You click on it and then you'll see the Google Slides. So here's Monday's class schedule. I'm going to select it and it will open up a new tab at the top. So now you can see my classroom is back here. I have to click on it again to go back to my classroom. And then my class schedule is still up there at the top. So I can go back to my class schedule by clicking on that tab at the top again. This class schedule will, will look pretty similar each day. So this is Mrs. Echevity's class schedule and Mrs. Severance's looks very similar. The front page will always be the welcome page or title page. The second page I'm clicking over here on the left, you'll see I can click down this row of slides on the left. So the second page will always be that day schedule. So you'll have the what we're doing that day and what time we're doing it. And then you'll see the next slide will be the beginning of that schedule. So morning meeting will always be in this purple color. If you see an icon that's green with a computer screen and people on it, then you know that this slide is work that we are going to do together through Google Meets. We meet every day, first thing at 8.30 in the morning. If you have a slide, if the next slide, this one, for the first thing Monday morning, shows after we meet that you're going to do a five-minute task on your own, you can see the icon is a student at her desk. When you see this icon, you'll know that the work on this slide is something you're doing on your own. If it's a slide that you're working on on your own, the directions will always be available to be read to you. So you can hover over this little audio icon and click play and listen to the directions that are written out. And then the reading and writing comes next after our morning meeting. And you'll see the reading and writing is always in this pink color. And then break and lunch will always be a gray slide. And the break slide will always have an option of some things that you need to do. It has the audio to have the directions listened to you, read to you, and then there'll always be a video here that you can hit play on to have the 15 minute break time countdown for you. And it will beep at the end so you know when to come back to our Google meeting. Math is always in yellow. If there's any assignments that are attached to math or reading, you will see it will say click here in blue with a black box around it. And that means that you can actually click on it and then click on the option that comes up, which is your math assignment for Monday. So math continues us together. Again, it's in yellow. If you see these yellow boxes at the top here, it means to check to see if you need to meet with your teacher during any math time to work with her. And then lunch is in gray. Number corner is in yellow since it works with math. And then wind time is in this darker pink color. Wind time is on your own and it will have all the directions read to you. You can play the video in the slide. And then if you need to meet with your teacher during wind time, you simply click on this yellow box and it will tell you if you click on slide 18 in this case, it will take you to that win time slide. And if your name is here in this box, it'll have a meeting time. And that means during win time, you need to meet with your teacher on the Google Meets. 
and then you can click the yellow box at the top to go back to your wind time slide. This is the same during independent work time from one to two. Your teacher may need to meet with you during that time. So to check that, again, you need to click the yellow box and go to that slide with the student names and the meeting times. Right now it's blank, but there will definitely be some small groups made and we will be meeting with you during these times. To go back to your independent work time slide, click the yellow box at the top that says click here to go back. And then the last slide will again be that blue color that we saw at the beginning. That means you are done for the day. 